ID Tech X show. So who are you? I'm Bill Lindsay. I'm a factory applications engineer for Dust Networks for linear technology. What is Dust Networks? Dust Networks is a low power wireless mesh network for distributed sensing applications. So this is the mesh right here? Yes, yeah, so each of these nodes has a radio. These devices are communicating to one another over the air with their radios. Um, and they are time synchronized to each other. They slave their clocks together. And as a result, you can see they know how to turn on and off their LEDs at exactly the same time because they're time synchronized. How can they synchronize the time? Do they have a clock in there or something? They each have an oscillator that every time a child sends a packet to a parent, the parent gives him an acknowledgement with a correction for his oscillator. So the clocks all drift together um, and remain synchronized over years. And they keep synchronizing all the time. That's correct. And so, and so now the devices that are repeaters or routers are still off most of the time. And so you can still get multiple years of battery life. In fact, these, the LED itself burns 400 times more what the radio burns because the radio is usually off. Right now they're on battery, right? That's correct. So you charge them uh, at the office or at the hotel? I, re I replace the batteries about once every month or so. Every month? Yeah. And they just blink for months. And then uh, what are you showing here? Uh, we have uh, some uh, third party partners that make uh, more productized uh, uh, units uh, for our customers that don't want to have to make a product. Because the products that we sell are really these chips and boards, and you have to actually integrate that into a product. But if you'd rather buy something more off the shelf, we're showing uh, partner products that. Um, so what's the L LTC 5800? So that's the, our core chip that has a radio and a microcontroller inside. Is it the ARM Cortex M something? M3. M3. Yes. Yeah. Very good. And these uh, these boards are just RF certified boards. So if you don't want to pay the FCC for RFC RF certifications, these are already modularly certified. So what kind of RF can they do? 802.15.4, same as Zigbee. Zigbee. It's a 2.4. It's a similar radio as Zigbee. It's a it's a 2.4 gigahertz. Um, uh, radio. And so uh, uh, Dust Networks has over 50,000 networks deployed in more than 120 countries. What do you mean by 50,000 networks? So we have uh, many customers that are in large-scale production who deploy networks all over the world. The, our biggest market is industrial sensing. So uh, like farms or? No, like refineries and uh, gas processing plants and uh, oil wells and uh, factories, things like that. So what that. do they sense, all these, uh, what, what yeah, would they? Any kind of important process variable, temperature, tank level, flow, uh, uh, valve open-close status, um, <laughs> any, any kind of uh, uh, industrial sensor that has a human readable gauge, now more and more you're seeing those sensors have an antenna coming out of it and that data is being sent over the air so that the owners of these facilities can make smarter decisions about how to run their facility. And uh, Dust is part of Linear? Linear Tech purchased Dust Networks five years ago. Uh, uh, Dust Networks was a startup out of Berkeley uh, for about 12 years now, but Linear purchased Dust uh, five years ago. Um, and uh, Linear is a big company making chips? Making analog ICs, analog uh, integrated circuits uh, for uh, for uh, power power management mostly. So they saw opportunity to work with you on making the IoT world, right? Yes, because some, uh, some of their best-in-class uh, chips are for energy harvesting. And so... One of those? So this board is driving a moat via solar or thermoelectric uh, energy harvesting. Nice. Is that e-ink? <laughs> That's an e-ink display that that uh, does, shows the status of things. <laughs> that's cool. All right, so IoT is uh, huge already for you, and it's going to be even bigger. That's correct. It's uh, uh, industrial. The high-end industrial sensing is the place where we've had the most adoption, but we expect that to come down to uh, to a broader range of applications.